Oh, it's you, cutie. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone? <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Wait, you're actually busy? With work? That's not a sight you see every day. <laughs> you're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. It's rather exhausting. <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? It's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. Is that a no, then? It will be quite the rare opportunity to work together, and you would, of course, be generously rewarded. But if you don't want to... As you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. But most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day, so Jean thought I was the best person for the job. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use, and the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one stone! Smart idea, Lisa! Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks, the Traveler. When I was at the Academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon still thinks you're just looking for a way to pawn off your work. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. <laughs> 